Today we're on board of a classic Fed Ship Super Yacht. This is BG Charade, built in 1990, classic 47 meter Fetchup Super Yacht. Welcome aboard. Wow, this is definitely unique. It's like a very classic way the Super Yachts were built back then. You have these two walkways on either side, and then this actually dead ends over there because you have the entrance to the technical space. So let's go check, the, check out the swim platform from here. It's a pretty grand entrance to the swim platform pretty amazing i mean look look at the shape of this staircase okay let me go to the other it side it is really beautiful it is yeah it is amazing Love really it. really cool okay what do we have here? of course we have the passerelle we we entered uh, we boarded the boat with and then we have a fairly good sized swim platform down here also your tender landing area or you can have the side ladder out the side steps out actually and land there as well and then here we have a fixed installed very important shower you just spin it open look at oh, you spin it open should i work too hard a little unusual because normally in our tours we don't do it like this but you know what we're already here might as well so we have cbob storage here a whole workbench a whole workshop our rudder posts right here the port one there's a starboard one and then um, emergency fire pump is down here this is really cool there's a lot of space actually here for all your toys and storage for spare parts. Got some compressor over there on the starboard side. Have an air conditioned unit running here. It's actually air conditioned. It's very cool and dry. Amazing. All right, ready? All right, it's a lot more boat to see. So let's go and check it out. Let's go check out the cockpit and I want to introduce you to Diddy. Welcome aboard. First of all, I want to introduce you to Didi. She is actually an owner of this vessel. Thanks for having us on board. Oh my God, my pleasure. She is also an architect and an interior designer specializing in luxury. And we just did a sneak peek of this built in 1990 vessel. And I got to say, it looks super current. And I know you were a huge part of this. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, in 2016 with the refit, what I really try to do is keep that beautiful elegance of a fed ship, but kind of take the dated parts. So they're full panels of oak. And it was kind of that weird, you know, that pinky orangey with a fireplace at the end. So took that, but to see the grain of the wood, so did that in kind of a whitewash. And the doors were like, amazing. They're kind of of today. Lacquered those out, added more hardware, and all the individual pieces of furniture. Don't give it away, don't give it away. You guys are gonna see it in the moment. Enjoy, you're gonna love it. You're giving us permission to explore. I want you to soak it all in. Awesome, thank you, Didi. We'll see you later okay. for a cocktail. Up thank done. you. Oh, champagne and caviar. Cocktail, oh, champagne That's and caviar. I understand. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so we're in the cockpit. We have our first alfresco dining here. Wow, how big is it? That is dining for... 12. 12 which is really cool because it's completely protected yes and then we Covered. have a nice sitting area back here nice and loungy as you guys can see the monica boat show is starts tomorrow we got to film it before it even starts this is when you know people and it works out like this so we have to be one of the first ones on board but as you can tell they're still setting up gonna look very different tomorrow but normally you will have this beautiful view behind you at Anchorage or you'll have a marina behind you and you're not usually sitting at the Monaco Yacht Show. Well good thing is um, nah, let's wait until we see the other dining option and okay. then I'm gonna say it. You're saying there are other options. There are other if options. this is not the right options for right now yes. there's another option. And of course we have some bars here down here with um, fridges and all the good stuff. All the service area here, huge TV right here. Let's go forward. Okay, cool. So we get this traditional side wing weather doors here, which is pretty cool when you're underway and you just want to uh, be out of the elements, don't want to get the spray in, you should close these doors. You have like a husband wife place. moment, you can just that shut also, the door yes. in his face. Okay, so as we're coming forward, really nice walkway, I mean, it's a fetch ship, you guys. Yep. It's a fetch ship, it's a tank. Everything is gonna be solid. It's steel hull, aluminum superstructure. So I don't think we need to uh, 
mention that. It's something you expect from So Fetcher. one thing just wanted to mention quick here, this box which we see here is actually, um, this folds out and it becomes your side to boarding staircase. Mm -hmm. Let's move forward. This would be your entrance point here, your side door. And then here you have the doors leading into the main uh, staircase area. Just love that it's 33 years ago, they already had all of this boarding technology oh, yeah. that now just got fancier, but it was it was all there. Yeah. I mean, on this caliber of a yacht, Correct. it was there. Okay, going forward. Oh, I see a Portuguese bridge. Yes. Well, first of all, we do have our... Wing station right here. And actually really good visibility. <laughs> <laughs> it's cleaning the boat, really getting good, it really ready for tomorrow. Yes. Um, but on all jokes aside, um, looking all the way aft, I can see the entire sideline of the boat all the way to the aft of the vessel. Of course, Portuguese bridge, like Victoria just mentioned. If this doesn't scream posh, I don't know what. It is really nice. And then you have the forward sun pad here, right in front of the Portuguese bridge setup, which if it's not too windy, this would be my favorite spot probably underway. Yeah, the view is fantastic. Right. And still forward all the way down, we do have our working foredeck. Look how grand this is. Love it. It is very nice. Wow. So let's step down here. As you like to call it, the crew, the crew smoking area or non-smoking area. Hopefully. The crew lounge. Yeah, the crew lounge. Um, the crew lounge, forward crew lounge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure 30 years ago this was a smoking area. Of Everybody course, smoked. Dual, dual anchor setup. Yes. Big, big winch. Wow, amazing. The bell. And then we have here the chain locker underneath. Let me see if I can open this. Ooh. Oh, wow. There you go. Wow. It is yeah. deep and huge all the way in the bow here emergency ladders are in there some extra lines uh, you could dump some fenders in there look how big this this hatch actually and is how deep do you think this is it goes really deep in there actually um, i want to say that's probably 10 feet or more 12 feet maybe all the way to the bottom of it Nuts. yeah pretty cool okay close it so up let's close this back up there we go what i really like which is very unique to uh, 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 somebody's playing again. It doesn't have, the thing is here, so nothing can happen. Ah, good. Yeah. Safety. You, you have, yeah, safety. You have safety to put it first. up. Yeah, so it's, um, um, it's Victoria proof. What I really like and what I think is very cool, and you only see this usually on classic yachts, is how flared out the boo walks are. I mean, you can see it, Victoria's staying straight, you can see the angle of the boo walks. Really, really cool. Also, anchoring, you can lean over the side, actually, and just have maybe someone hold your feet. I, uh, <laughs> I do miss it, I think, on a modern yacht. Like, there is just such a nostalgic feature. Yeah. You know, it just has that, oh, beautiful. Look at, look at the... Yeah, uh, I mean, look like next door, for example. You have a completely different bow shape. Uh, very, very, very different, actually. I mean, I like both, but there's just something really cool about this. So then let's um, go back here. We have some bullets here, of course, for the bow lines. And then we have a uh, watertight, watertight hatch here. Looking in. It's um, again technical area, lots of storage space, another little workbench and workshop there. So really cool space for the for the crew actually to keep the cleaning equipment, whatever whatever it is they, they need to get access to and they need to have it out of the way. Looks like a really big space. Yes. All right, let's go all the way aft to our boat deck. Of course, on both sides we have our entrance to the bridge which we're going to check out in a moment. And for a moment I was like, ah, oh, we can't go can't aft go here. Can't go aft, but they did this. So cool. It's, yeah. I'd say like a really nice compromise. You still have a staircase on both sides and you can actually walk on both sides. Which gives you actually more flexibility than having just a staircase or having an asymmetrical uh, where you just have on one side, you can go forward. And Very cool. There are the grab side, rails the everywhere. Nice and thick grab rails. Love it. Okay, let's go all the way up. No peeking. We'll right. see this boat deck, which doesn't look anything like there's no boat. It's incredible. We'll go all the way up to the sun deck. Wow, what are you doing here? What are you oh. doing here? Fancy seeing you. This isn't Sun Reef. <laughs> How did you end up here? 
Uh, actually, I'm friends with the owner. He invited me I on board. See. I stayed ten nights, and I can ten nights, ten nights. And one thing I can guarantee all of you is every single toilet on this boat works magnificently. I'm not even going to ask how you ended up in the um, primary toilet, but okay. <laughs> this is Robert Riva with Sun Reef Yachts, and uh, somehow he's just uh, hanging out in the best spot on the boat. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough life. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Good to see you. Great seeing you guys. See you later. <laughs> all right, we're going to keep walking. All right. So here, as we go all the way forward, we'll come back to the best spot on the boat. But as we go all the way forward, we have huge so, layout cushions. And this was part of the refit, actually. Yes. So um, th they converted this roof space into a really, really large layout uh, pad, right? They added the glass all around to protect you from the wind underway. Well, there is a fetch ship from the 80s next to us, and you guys can see kind of how a classic layout would look like. It's slightly different, um, the boat next to us, but yes, uh, you, because this was always roofier. Yes, so they added this. I think it was a brilliant addition. Didi told us that she loves to do yoga up here. It's got a great protection from the wind. As soon as you get down here, no wind. Okay, now we're gonna go all the way around. Check this out. We well, got since we're already here, let me just quickly mention oh, yes. this huge. <laughs> what is it? That's not you can't even call that a mast anymore. This is like a whole tower uh, instead of a mast. I mean look at the base of it, it's so big. Of course, we got our electronic domes on there. We have two open array radars, and then above that the weather station, all the antennas. Uh, courtesy flag. Of course, we're flying the flag of Monaco right now because we are in Monaco. So okay. let's go back. So we have a uh, drawer drink fridges here and we have a jacuzzi top up here. Check out the space. Oh, look, Robert ran away probably to get another cocktail. Yeah. <sighs> This guy, what a life. It's a cool spot, right? It is Sit up amazing. Here. It seems like BG Charade is uh, the boat to be in Monaco this year. Right? <laughs> Let's go, we have a lot more boat to explore. I think you should pop in into that interesting opening in the tower that we found. Check this out. There's a door and I feel like it's calling your name. But I cannot go in there actually. I can't go over there unless I go into the jacuzzi, which I think I don't really want right now. No, no, no. Just tell everyone what that is. Oh, it's ventilation. It's all vents? It's all ventilation. You see the grills here on the side, where we have the same grills on the port side. So that's the main ventilation. And then on top, first we thought, ah, it looks like dry exhausts, but it's actually not. It's the exhaust from the galley. Interesting. Yeah. And I saw the galley, it is big. I haven't seen the galley yet. I know you haven't. Ah, let's go. So where do we go next? Boat deck. Boat deck it is. Welcome to the boat deck. Wow. Or shall we call it luxury hangout space? This is really large. Two huge cranes. I don't know what the capacity is, but it looks insane. It's, it's, it's very big, yeah. These are two big hydraulic cranes. And then of course, and um, once you want to store the tenders up here or the jet skis or water toys, whatever you want to place here for being underway or doing any transitions, all the furniture gets cleared out and then the shocks get installed and you place the tenders or the toys. And we found out that this yacht used to belong to Paul Allen, spent a lot of time on board. There were some famous people came on board this yacht, oh, yeah. so many big names. And Didi said it was important to her to keep all these quality pieces of furniture. There are a lot of furniture on board that is timeless, that is state-of-the-art luxury quality, and she wanted to make sure she can incorporate it. Once we get an interior, you guys will see what she did. She really spursed it up and just brightened everything and made it lighter, more modern, but she still incorporated this timeless pieces into the design, and this table being one of them. I mean, Actually, it's four chairs. separate tables. Four, four separate tables, exactly. Yes. Which is also pretty cool because you can just yep. re rearrange them completely differently. Yeah. So right right now it's set up for eight, mm -hmm. right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's set up for eight, which is, um, as we heard, the most desired dining, breakfast, lunch spot on the vessel. I love this huge shades that they have. How awesome. I guarantee you this is where they hang out most of the time. That's why yeah, it would amazing. be. And then we have the lounge set up here on the aft portion of this of the boat deck. Continue. Huh? That's it. That's, that's all you have? Yeah. 
This is also a pretty serious flagpole there, I gotta say. Yes, a serious flagpole needs a serious flag. So we have storage on both sides, seating here, and we're gonna move in the interior now? Yes. Okay, Rico is in charge of this tour. I feel like I am just lost, a little bit lost. Okay. Coming Let's, in? Yeah, get into our Sky Lounge. So welcome to the Sky Lounge. It was pretty exciting to see some of the photos of what it used to look like and what they did here. It looked completely different. There was a bar here, kind of a darker colors. And now it's a really comfortable family room. They just said they use it all the time. They hang out, watch TV. This is really a cozy space. Then there is a proper wine fridge right there. Um, well, in this case, it's actually a proper champagne fridge. She did promise us champagne and caviar, so Ooh. now I understand where it's all getting stored. So tons of storage right there. Okay, we got to talk about this. Yes. I have never seen these mechanisms before. The closing mechanisms? Yes. How does that even work? I don't... Is this... I don't know either. But <gasps> it's, a, it's a window you can open. It slides down, up and down. Up and down, right? But it has like some serious locking mechanisms um, for being underway. I love the way it looks. Yeah. It, it looks very cool. So then on our port, we have our stew's pantry. Whoa. I think they're expecting to have some serious Ooh. parties on this vessel. That is a large bottle. <sighs> okay, focus. So in this stew's pantry, we have a drink fridge, nice countertop here a dishwasher, a sink, storage microwave, and this here. I'm gonna need you guys to put it down in the comments and let us know what 33-year-old piece of equipment this is. Well, I can tell you what it is. You pretty, know where this it's is? pretty easy. What is Read it? Read what it says on there. It says, do not place any electric no. or gas heater. Yeah, what does it say there? It says... Brewing. Brewmatic. Brewmatic. What's brewmatic? Coffee maker. Old school coffee maker. No. Of course. Really? On the left side, you slide the filters in. I've never seen that yeah. before. I'm not that old. Okay, Rico. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. A lot more to see. So then we have a side entrance here on our storeboard side, mm -hmm. which you can actually come in. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. And why is this really cool? We have our first day hat. There are a few of them on board. And as you guys can tell, this does not look like 1990. Look, she had all these doors refinished, looks beautiful, but it's all coming back now. It looks current and luxury beautiful. Coming forward into the pilot house. I gotta say, you're pretty impressed by this whole space here. Get yep. ready. So we have- On after slash office, um, right transitional in between the guest area and the pilot house. And now let's step into the pilot house. But the captain has his own office. So this is not his office. Then we're coming into the pilot house. Oh wow, this is a huge, huge pilot house. Check this out. Actually, we have a chart table right in the center. Yeah, an old school chart table, which is really cool. Just want to take a quick second and ask you guys to hit that like button, write us a comment, so make sure nice. you subscribe, make sure you do that little share error. It means the world to us. You guys know that we don't charge for any of our yacht tours. We don't accept any payment. We do keep our independence to show you the best boats and what we want to show you. So please do us a favor, hit that like button, makes all the difference. Check out the view, this gorgeous. And there's some stuff about this pilot house that was interesting. Yes, so this is one of the first fat ships actually not having a helm wheel, which we see now a lot on the newer vessels, right? We just have the little joystick or the rudder uh, selector lever like these guys here for the tiller but not having a helm wheel anymore in 1990 was definitely a very new thing. Groundbreaking, revolutionary, Groundbreaking, yes, yes, I would say so. So as you guys can see, there were a lot of upgrades done over the years because we have different screens. Starting over here, we have some VHF radio, actually management system of the vessel on, on the port side screen here. We have a Faruna remote here, the AIS information and the chart on there. For example, tiller right here. Then we have the shift and throttle controls for the main engines, some BNG equipment right there, and then another Furuno remote here on the starboard side. And of course, we have the depth sounder here and sonar on the starboard side as well. And then overhead, what do we all have here? <laughs> Steering gear, compass light, 
gearbox, engine, all analog gauges here. Here for the port engine, um, the heading, wiper controls, another VHF radio. So all the necessary equipment. Um, this is pretty cool having these two benches right behind, huh? Just realized this is our very first fetch up on the channel. Oh, wow. Yeah, finally. That's exciting. I know. It just, just dawned on me. I'm like, I don't think it, we've had one before. And for everybody who's watching, keep in mind, this boat was built in 1990. It's okay. 33 years old. Yeah. And it looks very current. Yes, agreed. And it's interesting how they don't have a helm chair. Yes. They have these two benches, right? So if you're on duty here, you're awake and standing. Yep. And if you're underway in the longer passages, you can sit right here. That's okay. right. Then on our port side. Thank you, port side. Walking in to the captain's cabin, super generous. He's got a huge office right here. And then as we're walking aft, big cabin. Shout out to the captain for letting us film the cabin. Really appreciate it, much appreciate it. I know you guys enjoy checking out how does the crew live. He's got his head right here, which we'll keep it private. Very true, very generous cabin. And there's also a big window here, which is just covered right now by the blind. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go back into our pilot house. And right in the center, we actually have our crew staircase coming right up to the pilot Service house. Staircase, yeah really cool and as you guys can hear down there is the galley okay, there's a lot going on there it's, i think lunch happening and down below is our crew mess we'll go check it out in a little bit sounds good okay so now we're gonna go all the way out and then go down the main staircase to the salon and the guest cabins let's do it all right walking into the main salon this space was also majorly transformed. There was a fireplace right there, which I think was replaced for a much better item. Wow, <laughs> that is a nice wine cellar. Yes, I actually don't know how many bottles that is, but I think I'd rather have that than uh, a fireplace on both. What do you think? Very, yeah, absolutely. And actually, still like storage next to it looks like it. Put it out in the comments. Would you rather have a fireplace or a really huge, beautiful wine cellar? Put in the comments. So we have our indoor dining set for 10, which could also be set for 12. Mm -hmm. Also an original table that Didi was able to preserve and re reworked into this space. And Actually then, extended it. Yes, exactly, made it bigger. And then we have a huge lounge sitting area here. I don't know how many people this is. I mean, what do you um, think? One, two, three, 14? four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10, <laughs> and then plus the chair. So. That's a lot of seating. Everything in here is quality, luxury, high-end items. It is beautifully fit into this design. As you can tell, no more brown, peachy, pink, what Diddy was saying. Very light, very airy, elevated design. Very nice. Huge TV right there. Yes. 85 inches? I don't know. Yeah, that looks like a 75, 85, yeah. It's a nice little work table, almost like a little home office area right here which, oh, that's actually the, the boat. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I love this. How cool is that? The fruit ball? Yeah. Well, you know, instead of hiding it in the galley, it's a great idea. And that is solid wood. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna go all the way down, aft, into our guest area. Which way? This way? Sure. Okay. Go aft to so, the starboard side. Starboard side. We have our double cabin, first double cabin out of our two double cabins. That mm -hmm. was weird, but you guys get what I'm saying. Look at this. Also, nice desk here. You can actually pop a computer, do some work if needed, but hopefully you're here just to have fun and this is just a nice little makeup space. <laughs> yeah, and uh, sadly we don't have smell TV yet, but it smells beautiful in here. <laughs> it does smell nice. Okay, and right here is our hanging lockers. Just gonna point out, I don't know if you've noticed, but these are custom BG handles. Oh, how cool is that? Really nice. And we're walking aft into our first head. So we have a shower, looks like a good two person shower. Oh, look at all the storage space on the outside. Yes, nicely done. Huge openable porthole right there. 
head, sink, some storage underneath, all these doors. I think it looks really, really nice. Okay, then we have a mirror image cabin on the port side. Yes, but we'll pop in, just so you guys believe us. Oh, look at these. The blinds? Oh, the, yeah, these are always so nostalgic looking. Look how yeah. they preserved that and kept it. I the, love the it. The sliders, yeah. Yeah, the sliders, they're right here. Really nice. Two big open up portals as, again. And, and then the same matching head. Marble, very nice. Oh, wow, huge medicine cabinet. Check this out. And then we're going forward to port to our first of the, I was gonna say VIP, but actually we do have a VIP cabin somewhere else. This yacht has six staterooms, all with en suites, but originally it was five. So we'll show you how that was done. So this one is our first of our two queen size cabins. Mm -hmm. Big TV, again, every cabin has a, a very large TV actually. And a sound bar, right? Yes. And let's check out this hat, actually matching the same. Yep, same exactly size. Exactly the same. Yeah, love it. Tons of mirrors. All natural stone. Yeah, beautiful place to be a guest. I would not mind spending, what did Robert say, 10 days? Yeah. This guy. Wow. Okay. Same, matching, beautiful. Yeah, wow. Every cabin has a very large TV. Check this out. Same here. Should I volunteer myself in a shower? Sure. Definitely a generous two-person shower, for sure. Okay, up to the main deck and check out the VIP. VIP and the owner suite. Let's do it. Okay, coming oh, up. What was down here? Oh, what was down here? Good point. Locked. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I love that on the yachts when they have, I don't know, we, we call it oh, oh shit kit. You know, yeah. when you basically forgot something and they always have, have a little replacement for you. Laundry. Oh, that's, that is a very convenient. Yes, a very nice laundry. We've got mealy washer and dry here, a sink, tons of storage, super convenient location. Wow, you don't even hear it. It's going. No. You know you're on board the Fed ship where it's quiet. Wow. Okay, let's go up. Oh, what's this? That's locked. Oh. Okay, we're going forward. Main deck. This is cool. It was one of the touches that Didi brought in. She said, you know what? This is a beautiful space. And this is the door I was mentioning from the side deck. So that's your main landing area here when you do board the boat from the side. Oh, that's a lot of mirrors. Yes, but also it was refitted, redone, just like all the rest of the interior. Very nice. And we keep going forward. There's tons of beautiful art on board. You guys, if you recognize something, put it down in the comments, let us know what it is, but there are just tons, tons of beautiful pieces. So this is our VAP stateroom. Ta-da! So this space here was actually our indoor dining. Like the formal dining. Which got moved aft, which I think is a perfect location so for it. So much better. And this is now our VIP stateroom. So they were able to add another stateroom. With a king size bed. Yes, huge. And of course, they added this head, which wasn't here. Initially, this was an entrance to the galley. Oh, wow. But it's a very comfortable ensuite. Yes. Beautiful choices as well for the tiles. So now they're able to comfortably host 12 people, 12 guests plus crew. And uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty smart decision. Smart uh, how resolution. Nice, how nice is that with a, with a big porthole, huh? Yeah, those windows are incredible. You guys ready to go see the owner suite? Yes. Okay. There are some friends on board here, so I'm not going to open anything up. Just arrived. A very lo lovely human. And we're walking forward into our owner suite. So we have a little desk right when you walk in, really cool with the transparent desk. It looks like it's floating. And we're walking in to our full beam all the way forward. Also something you didn't really see 
this scale off in the 90s, in the yes. early 90s. So that's quite unusual. Now it's becoming more of a thing. It's coming back again, I feel like. Well, also like the vessel's gotten a lot wider. Yes. Um, you know, like in the 90s, the vessels were a lot smaller for the length than they're now getting built. But look um, at this stateroom. It's incredible. And I love how the windows are angled, yeah. right? That's also nostalgic, unusual. You don't see it nowadays. You've got this square, big windows, and these are just so So, cool. of course, king-size bed, large TV. All of these are custom as well, BG, you guys can tell. And a nice large side T here. Did you mention it already? No, I have not. I mean, that's like, that's like a, another side salon kind of. So if you wanted to sort of escape into your cabin and just have a chill moment by yourself, you don't just have the bed, you have a really nice sitting area that you can hang out, you can have your computer, read a book. Very true. Just a, a, a cozy little space here. And then, not little, actually, large cozy space. <laughs> and then we're walking into the head. Wow. So Diddy told us originally, this was Jack and Jill. So it was a, a shower in the middle right here, mm -hmm. but it was really important to her to have a bathtub. So they did this. Uh, her husband calls it her million dollar bathtub because it needed to happen and it happened and now it's here. And I'm gonna definitely volunteer to enter the shower. This is massive. Wow. How many, how many people shower is this? Um, that's Two, five? Six. Six? six person shower? Yes, I'm gonna say six. With the bench? Six sounds right. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, yes, this huge bench. Really nice. Beautifully done. And then you have his and her sinks. So everybody has their own space. I really love the layout of the shower and I felt like they incorporated the bathtub perfectly. I really like the two vanities actually being on separate sides instead of being right next to each other. I agree. It's really nice. I love it. And then, of course, we have a, a separate toilet area wow oh, oh. hello <laughs> wow uh no thank you not right now <laughs> not not on camera <laughs> not on camera weird you can close up again thank okay, you very thank much okay thank you bye-bye <laughs> what did it say something as well i think it I talks know. to you did, i don't know i didn't hear anything saying so where are we going from here okay so uh, i think we need to show you the galley and the crew space if the crew will be so kind to allow us and also the engine room Cool, let's do it. Okay. Walking into our galley. Could we pop in for a moment? Oh my God. Come on in, I just do. Got a You're doing in. flowers. I'm flower arranging. <laughs> and then I've got behind me Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, my brother, cooking, which is fantastic. Oh, nice. It's caviar time at six. Oh, That's perfect. Okay, okay. We will be here. Pass by. Is it okay? I know you're busy, but we can quickly no, pop move in. Move around, move okay. Around. Oh, it's, it's, it's a normal galley uh, setup. Okay. Oh, it's a serious oh, it's a large commercial professional galley. galley. Yeah. Wow, very nice. So what do you got here? You've got two huge ovens, six six burners, eight. 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 Yeah. Why why have action. six when you can have eight? For induction and uh, for electric. How many yeah. how many people um, total are you cooking for? Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. yeah so. so we've got like ten people. Uh, uh, that's the guest. Yep. And then we have another 10, 11 or maybe twelve sometimes crew. Crew. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a lot of food to prepare. So your yeah, refrigeration, you've got that fridge. Well, we've got walk-in. You've got uh, more. Walk -in, uh, down there, a walk-in freezer and a walk-in. Uh, In the crew area. area. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Very cool. Well, obviously, proper ventilation, proper everything. You've got your own dishwasher set up here, right? Yeah. I know the girls have a dishwasher also in the in they the stew's pantry. The pantry, pantry. Nice. Well, yeah. Looks like a really nice workable space here. All it's proper very surfaces. Nice. Very nice. Uh, very nice, Kali. It's uh, spacious. Yeah. Good room to operate. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah, nice. It's very nice uh, workspace, work as you said. Awesome. Well, thank you for letting us pop in, and uh, we're gonna go and yeah, pop yeah. into the uh, area next. Uh, if we can. If we can. Pop okay. That's us. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so right here is our entrance into the pilot house. Uh -huh. And then we can go straight down to our crew mess. All right, wow. There's a lot more to the boat here. So these are the, these are the fridges that he was talking about, the walk-ins. Wow, they're huge. Wow, check out this crew mess. This is huge. Wow, pretty unbelievable. Are these dishwashers? No, you know you're on a fat ship. What is 
this? No, that's a dishwasher. Yep. What are these? Fridges. Fridges. Yep. Wow, impressive. So you actually have a bar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For crew. I love it. Oh, wow. This is really nice space. Which comes in nice really handy space. because if the crew ever happens to eat all at the same time, which probably rarely happens, but if, the, if it does, you have four high chairs here and then you have the table you can sit around. So you could actually all eat at the same time. And now the fridge right here. So then we have a TV here, a CCTV camera like here, so you can already see if somebody would be wanting to board the vessel. You um, see it on the CCTV screen right there. Yeah, and uh, he said we can pop into this cabin real quick. Quiet, just please. To show you, yeah, quiet, please. Just to show you guys the space. So we get the engineer's cabin here, which is actually really nice. You have a little um, office space here, then a fairly large bunk. Portholes over there, and then I guess an ensuite. So yeah, you got actually a walk-in shower, head, and a vanity. Pretty good. And as we keep going forward, we have another laundry. Wow, two sets of professional melee washer and dryers so they have three sets that's amazing good size laundry love it this is a great it's nicely air conditioned yes so if you're ironing in here nice space i know there's a lot of time spent doing that and then we have four cabins down here and the ladies told us we can pop into this one real quickly check out the space now you get the feeling for what it used to look like you know the the 1990 definitely you feel it down here more but also separate shower separate head sink very nice yeah little desk yeah. area no wet heads bunks. down here yep okay cool let's go and check out the engine room let's check out the engine room again again no not again <laughs> first time it's the very first time <laughs> All right, welcome to the engineer's office. So this vessel is 515 gross tons, as you guys can probably already guess, because we have a proper office where you can keep watch. So all the way over there, which I'm just seeing here next to Victoria, here are our shore power converters, which are giving out a lot of heat. So having them in here actually is really convenient because this space is air conditioned, so helps it actually for them to not overheat or trip or break up. It's a nice and comfortable space. Then you have a entire wall here for all your distribution, all your electrical distribution. You got your generators here, generator controls, breaker panels, the yacht management system right here where you see all the tank levels and bilge pumps, all the monitoring system of the vessel is here displayed. And now let's go into the engine room. How about this chair? Yeah, it's nice, cool. nice and cozy. Okay, let's Look step at the in view. here. Engineer's view. Okay, let's go. Right away when we walk in, we have this huge chiller here for the air condition. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty massive actually. And then some very old school looking pumps and proper piping, of course. So stepping down. So the refit, the interior refit was done in 2016. They just completed their technical 30 year survey. Yes, the class survey was done uh, three years ago. Yes, so they obviously did everything needed to make sure it's everything course, is up and running. Proper haul out, yep. do the whole inspection, everything. It's which a comes big along deal. If you yes. guys don't know what a class survey is, it is a big Especially deal. Especially a 10-year. Yeah. The vessel is built to uh, Lloyd's of London, Lloyd's class. We have upgraded generators. So these ones are replaced at some point. I don't know exactly when, but these are new generators. Then we have the original main engines, which are caterpillars. 905 horsepower each look at look, look at these engines this is crazy I what's mean, look at this these. this is throttle control and shift control for the main engines if you at some point have to override it manually from down here um, if you lose control up in the pilot house you could have somebody in a com or walkie talkie whatever it is and have, have somebody do it manually down here the engineer actually okay show us Pretty the rest cool. of the engine room. as you guys can see here the exhaust we have the two turbochargers there, then the main exhaust going up overboard. Here we have the analog gauges for the main engine. Of course, the same on the starboard engine. The big air filters here, another air filter on the other side. Going up here a couple of steps, we have a manual pump here. Then that's uh, all actually oil. Yep, dirty oil, fresh oil. We have the water maker here, water heaters over there, tool chest with the workbench on top, another workbench. 
Um, then another workbench, which is I think number four at this point. Spare parts, storage, and a more storage there, and switches and so on. Pretty impressive. Even the bilge is lit up, if you guys can see all the way down there. Proper valves, piping. It's a uh, fat chip. A real fat chip, The yeah. golden standard. Primary fuel filters right here. Yeah, another one there. Did I mention that it's air conditioned in here? No, I don't think so. It is really nice and comfortable. It's air conditioned in here. The compressor just turned on, so we have a little bit of noise. Bah. The main engines each have 905 horsepower. You did that already. Top speed of 15 knots. Did that as well. Okay, cruising speed of 12 knots. Ah, yeah. didn't do I that. I don't think you did that. And then how about these main engines each have around 29,000 hours on them. Well, this boat has been around the world. It just did like two years in Asia and just came here. Now it's in Monaco. I mean, it's done some miles. The owners of this boat are using it. The previous owners used it. It is built to last and it is lasting. It is incredible to me to see main engines with that many hours on them and they look like brand new and they probably run another 20,000 hours if they're well taken care of. Unbelievable. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, just uh, to quickly mention, here is one of our, our sea chests. There's another sea chest right there. This is a sea chest? Yeah, in case you're wondering what this is, that's actually a hole on the bottom of the boat. Instead of having a through hole with a valve, it actually goes in here. This is higher than the water level. Oh. So, theoretically, you could open this up right now and not flood the entire boat and also clean it out, get debris out, service it, and then close it back up. Very interesting. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Give us a like, a comment, better three comments. That would be awesome. Thanks for joining us. If you would like to see some extra outtakes, join us on the Patreon. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Six staterooms with ensuite. And then there's another sea chest. <laughs>